Hey everybody, um, so basically this video today is going to be just sort of like an update of things I've been doing, how my life's going, <laughs> um, I don't know, just, I just wanted to sit down and kind of talk to everybody and say hello. I feel like I haven't really done like a sit down and talk video in a while, um, and a lot of my videos lately have been pretty short or just a lot of like hauls, um, so yeah. Anyways, let me just jump right in. A uh, couple of things I've been dealing with lately. I have had terrible skin issues. Um, and it's really driving me crazy. I, I mean, you guys can even see it in the video. I've got a lot of stuff going on in my forehead and cheeks and my chin and my neck. And I'm just... It's driving me nuts. And I've tried a lot of my usual treatments. Nothing seems to be working. I've tried going without makeup. For several days in a row um, and I just I don't know what's going on with my skin but um, I did go ahead and pick up my um, favorite charcoal mask which really does help detox my face I was out of this and I wasn't gonna buy it until I used up some of my other stuff but nothing really seems to be working so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this back into my regimen and see if that makes a difference hopefully it will but um, if any of you guys have any tips or ideas, let me know. Um, and actually, I really I just never said the name of this. It's the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. So, anyways. But um, if you have any tips on stuff that I could try to help clear up my skin, that would be great. Um, another thing, oh, I have really, you know, I've been trying to focus on saving money and also not charging as many things. And, um... One area I thought I could really save money in was constantly going and getting my nails done every two weeks or, you know, week or whatever, however it turned out. And so I've been focusing on trying to grow my natural nail, and I finally did it. <laughs> They're not painted right now, so you can't really tell, but um, I have grown out my natural nails, and they're quite long, and I need to shape them and, you know, file them down. But now that they're long, I can just paint them at home, and it'll look nice. <laughs> Um, so that's a way to save money. And um, as you guys will notice, I haven't had as many makeup hauls lately. Or when I do, it's like a couple items. And um, I just, I don't know. It's makeup. I, I still love makeup. I still enjoy playing with it. I enjoy, you know, collecting it and stuff like that. But like, for some reason lately, buying something, while well, yes, it can still be like, ooh, this is fun and new or whatever. After a while, I just feel guilty about it because I'm like I just have too many things in my collection already that's not being used and so I've been going through like a big decluttering trying to get you know stuff out of my collection that I haven't touched in a really long time and giving it to friends or to my sisters and um so yeah just trying to go through my collection make sure that I'm actually using you know what's in here and also not just adding to it for the sake of adding. Like this year, I at first I didn't want it, but then I really, really wanted the Vice 3 palette from Urban Decay. And so many times, you guys, so many times I almost clicked, you know, buy or, you know, check out or whatever. And I just, something kept holding me back. And it was just that feeling of, I, I knew that I was turning like this want feeling into a need, but Every time I opened my makeup closet, I knew I didn't need it. And so I didn't. I haven't bought it. I'm not going to buy it. I've taken it out of, like, <laughs> all my carts, and I'm not I'm not going to be purchasing it. And actually, that just, that feels really good. It does. It feels good not to, to purchase something else. And I've been focusing on rediscovering things in my collection that I kind of forgot about or new ways to use them. So, and I have a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> so I'll be, I should be busy with that for a while. But, um, so this, you know, aspect of, like, making beauty videos and experimenting with new makeup and stuff like that, in some, ways, in some ways, I feel like that has kind of become not as as fun for me anymore, or I'm, I guess I'm just trying to focus on other things. Um, I haven't really told anybody this, but, like, I am, uh, I have started seeing a therapist for some, like, certain issues that I feel like I have. Or, um, and one of the things we're just focusing on is just finding different ways to, like, experience happiness and, and be happy about different stuff. 
um, even if like maybe a certain area of my life right now is not exactly where I want it to be. And um, so I've just, you know, I've just been focusing on other ways <laughs> that I could be happy. And something I have always really enjoyed is doing like crafty projects, knitting, sewing, um, scrapbooking, and oh, I forgot to, forgot to grab that. Actually, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I'm back. Okay. Um, and actually this video is probably going to have to be uploaded into two parts, <laughs> maybe three parts. We'll see how long I ramble. But, um, this is what I went to grab. Uh, for within my first wedding anniversary, I had started a, you know, our first year scrapbook. And I, I, I did all the pages, but then I never, like I did all the decorating and stuff, but then I never filled it with pictures. And so I finally actually did that, um, which was pretty cool. So I'll give you guys a glimpse into this. I don't, I don't think I've showed this in a video yet. Um, but anyways, so I don't know. I've just been trying to focus on other things and things that make me feel productive. Like I accomplished something and I did something. So I actually have a bunch <laughs> of projects to, you know, show you guys that I've completed recently and um, things that I'm currently working on. And a lot of you know, too, that I've been doing a lot of book hauls lately. I've been picking up books from thrift stores and stuff. So I have a couple more books to show you because, like, books are something that I've really gotten into. And it's a much cheaper hobby. <laughs> so anyways, but let me show you this really quick. This is uh, the scrapbook I did for our first year together. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the pages out because I think this, the, you know, the plastic that they're in will make it so you guys can't really see the photographs. But so there's this, it has our little, our wedding date on it. And then when you open it up, this isn't from our first year together, but this is like my personal favorite picture of Reef and I. So I just kind of had that hidden in there because it's not technically from <laughs> our first year. And then when you open the book up, there are these two pages which go together of us like dating so and I'm not going to show you guys like every page in detail just kind of you know share a little bit um, but these are all like just photographs from when we were dating these first couple pages here's another one there's another um, here these go together but, so yeah, and then um, there's ones from our wedding. Let's see. So like these ones from the day we got married. And let's see, I'll kind of see, I, like I said, I'm not going to show you guys the whole book, but like, uh, <laughs> This is a funny one. I'll share this one. It's when I went and got my teeth fixed. And I'm pretty terrified of the dentist. So, like, Reef was with me the entire time. And I, and then my mouth was so numb. Like, I couldn't even, I could only smile with, like, half my face. I had to pull it up to smile. Here's our first pet together. This is Kiju. And, um, we miss her. We miss her very much. She, uh, passed away. But, um... Yeah, so anyways, there's just a whole bunch of stuff, and like this is um, the last page that I did, and this is our, a photo of us on our first wedding anniversary, so, and the top says only the beginning, so anyways, I'll put all that back later, but, so that was one of the things that I completed, um, and something else I've really gotten back into is like cross-stitching and embroidery, so this was a project I had actually started a really long time ago and I finally finished and got it all cleaned up it had some stains and stuff in it um, but so yeah just a cute little and basically it's like for a for a nursery or something and you put like the baby's name and you know like date of birth stuff like that in there and then frame it or something but so I worked on that um, I worked on this one which um, most of you know I'm Jewish and so in our home, we have lots of like hamsas and stuff, which are, I'm sorry, I'm trying to like not have the picture in there. Um, these are like for good luck and kind of warding off, you know, negative energy or negative thoughts from other people. So there's the blessing in Hebrew. And then in this 
in English it says in this home bless blessing and peace and it's just what this says up here and I put some flowers down in here so I don't know it's I some for some reason it feels a little incomplete to me so I I may go back and put more into it but for now I framed it and it's sitting on our fireplace